Hello guys, it's Brendan Borman back for another 270 video. Today is the live stream of the 270 Fantasy Championships featuring Nathan Williams from Team Jeff and myself from Team Brendan. So first I'd like to give a shout out to all of the team members who were on Team Brendan. I know it did not go as planned, but it was very fun and I would be teammates with any of you guys again so it looks like we clashed in new york on the first turn and i'm going to enter into labor and environment i don't think he's going to be expecting this most top players don't use national groups i've been playing around with it a little bit more lately and with new york being such a critical state for my african-american bonus um, I'm going to need some extra money if I'm going to combat him in some of the giant states like Florida, California. So I apologize to Nathan in advance. I'm probably going to take a lot longer to make some of my moves than you're usually used to. He is a fast player, and I do appreciate that quite a bit. So I'm going to open up in the Old South. I thought about going to Massachusetts to block him from a possible towning gown. But I'd already, I'd already hit the in turn button. <laughs> so sometimes you have to be careful of that. Anyway, having a little bit of extra money early on in the game is not that big of a problem. So I can always enter into uh, Massachusetts in a future turn. But anyway, it looks like he's going after Town and Gown. Maybe New Hampshire with the... No, Massachusetts. Okay. So he got a couple swing states. That's why I was thinking New Hampshire. So I'm going to go ahead and get the Old South bonus. And enter into Florida and I think Wisconsin. Because that will give me the swing state bonus. Now I do have a negative for swing states with Stacey Abrams. And again... I haven't been using her very often, so I need to play with her more to get a feel on some of the numbers. But, okay, I am being pressured a little bit in Virginia, and I'm being pressured in North Carolina, so that's not a good sign. Probably going to lose our Old South bonus really quickly. Now, I'm going to open up in Pennsylvania protect from her getting um, him getting high tech and I'm gonna also combat him in both Arizona and Massachusetts so playing a little bit of offense he also enters into Florida okay So pretty close, 105 to 100. I do have the national group bonus. He has the town and gown. I have the old south. I did protect North Carolina last turn. I might protect Virginia this turn just because it does have the high tech bonus. And... I'm going to end my turn. I don't think I don't think he's going to attack me. Okay, he goes into California. Okay, the reason I'm saving money is I need to make it appear like I'm going to attack him in New York. And now that he's in California, he is on the precipice of getting that high-tech bonus. So not a great start for Team Brendan. Um, we're definitely fine. We have... Um, $708,000 in cash, but how I use that is going to be really important to if I can stay in this game or not. I am going to go ahead and put some pips into Arizona and Pennsylvania for the time being. Use my old South bonus in case they get stolen. Okay, I'm going to take Pennsylvania away. And I'm just going to save as much money as I can. I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah, I should probably 
definitely going to go into California because I can't let him get a second pip without being there. I don't think he is going to go a second pip in California this turn. So I'm going to finish off Virginia and officially go into California. That way I can go possibly to the fourth rung. Now the only thing is, unfortunately, I will not be able to get the high-tech bonus this turn if I do get... And I'm being pressured in Maryland. Okay. Because I did not successfully get Pennsylvania. Okay, this, this is a big turning point in the match right here. If we clash in California, it's not going to be detrimental to either of us. Okay, there it is. However, he is setting himself up to get a few bonuses. So he is in the oil states. He's pressuring me in Louisiana. I need to get my African-American bonus if possible. Open up in a few more Old South states. And then if I go to Florida, I would get swing states, but I think I better wait on that. Okay, so he went one in California. Okay, that puts some pressure on me. Oh, boy. Okay, now he's got $75,000 in towning gown. Ugh, I can go... Uh, this would give me the high-tech bonus if... if uh, shoot. Okay, I'm playing around with some other options if I don't go in California. Can I get the African-American bonus? I do believe so. Which would be a good consolation prize, but I think if I were able to get the high-tech bonus, I could then use that money in Michigan, in Delaware... And probably snowball it into the African American bonus. Plus, it would help me in Pennsylvania. <sighs> These are the decisions you have to make against top level players that ultimately decide the outcome of the game. I'm going to play it safe, I'm going to enter into Illinois, Michigan. I'm going to leave California alone. I'm going to be kicking myself later. Okay. So I do enter into Florida, Michigan. I do follow him in the oil states. I do get the African-American bonus and the swing state bonus. So currently it's 174 to 169. We're on turn 11. And... If I were him, I would probably pressure me in North Carolina, maybe try for a steal, or Florida. He does have quite a bit of money. But I'm going to leave Florida alone. I'm just going to try. Maybe I can get the ag bonus, which will help me in Florida and Illinois. Uh, I, better, I better do North Carolina. next turn so with Texas being open Texas is so critical I need to be in Texas because if I give him Texas with any with New Mexico or Colorado he'll have Latino um, either of us could end up with manufacturing still. I could go for manufacturing without Texas. If I were to go use my swing state bonus in Ohio and then go for Indiana and Kentucky. But I just have a feeling he's trying to make a big move. It's a tournament match. Florida would take away quite a bit, but that seems so obvious. I think he'll maybe go North Carolina. So I'm using a lot of time. I'm still leaving quite a bit of money behind in cash. I have 287000 and I like to have that money because that gives me options to possibly attack him in New York. 
or even California eventually. Although, if I wait too long, I'll be up a creek without a paddle. I'm going to try to... Maybe one of those states I could steal. But then it'd be obvious because if I, if I could steal both, I would have done it. Because that would have... Even if he gets Texas, he wouldn't have the Latino bonus in, unless he still has New York. Which is a very good possibility. Okay, so he's entering to a lot of states. He's not spending a whole lot of money um, either. So both spent about 360000 So he's entering into a lot of the Latino and the export states. So those couple bonuses that are out there, he's trying to get those. He's not attacking me in Florida or in Pennsylvania, which is surprising. And he's not pressuring me in Michigan or Illinois, which is definitely helping me. Um, I, I test to see if I can steal New York. I, quite, I just can't do it. Um, I do have some Old South money. Maybe I can protect Louisiana if he is going for export. Mm. Do I play with fire? Do I risk losing some of my bonuses by not making any moves? I'd better use some of my bonus money in case I lose it. And then I might enter into Ohio. And then Iowa. And I'll just do that to give me... That way I've used all my bonus money. So it's it's basically like spending zero, but in case I lose my bonuses, I'd at least put them in the different states. I won't lose my cash. And then remember, I do have the... Um, national group that is carrying me an extra extra bit every single turn about 60,000 so I'm going to follow him in some of the Latino states also so he might get export this turn he gets Latino for sure, oil and gas. He does not get export. Okay, so that's a that's a um, a bonus for us. Looking to see, it, man, we are really pressing our luck in Florida. I feel like I have to go two in the Texas right now. I'm gonna use my old South money to open up in in my African American states to get some of these. He's already at two hundred and thirty five electors. And he does have some town and gown states open. That That's another easy 20. The ag bonus is going to be crucial. And at any time, he could flip Florida, which is 29. That would be a huge 58 swing. It's just who's willing to take that strike and, and uh, risk clashing. Again, I'm surprised he hasn't come at me in Illinois and Michigan. But states like Washington that has the high-tech bonus and also the export, um, I'm going to go and enter into these ag states just to give me that possibility. And then just in case, I mean, we're not close to a ballot, but... I want to have that option by closing some of these states if he defends severely here pretty soon. I think next turn might be the turn I defend Pennsylvania. Maybe one in Florida with my swing state money and then go all in in defending Pennsylvania. Okay, so here we go. Big money being spent. Florida, ah! If I had done one this turn instead of one next turn, shoot. Okay, so the good thing is we didn't lose any bonuses. 
But the bad thing is he got a bunch of bonuses and electorals. So we did take the lead just because we entered into quite a few states. So we're at 292 to 246. But I'm going to steal one of those states from him with my bonus. And then I really expect him to defend here in Florida. So I'm not going to use my money, my cash to go back at him. That would be that would be um, possible to steal it back. But if I'm wrong, that's probably game over. So let me use my bonuses here to try to get the ag bonus. I feel like Minnesota is going to be an important state because of the town and gown and the ag, and it's a 10-point state so he's entering into a lot of states that i had just entered in which is smart he does take me in uh both ohio and pennsylvania good move probably should have defended but he hasn't shown too many signs of attacking i do get my african-american bonus and my ag bonus so it's good to have the aa back um we're both sitting at 800k I'm going to pressure him in Nebraska with my ag. And then I'm going to go all in in Alabama. It's worth a little bit more than Mississippi used some of those bonuses. So he could spend all his money in Ohio and Pennsylvania and Florida. And then we would have a pretty distinct advantage money-wise. And then I could pick off a few of these states. Um, Minnesota. Again, I think there's a chance he could attack me. I also think there's a chance he could attack me in Wisconsin. Um, try to steal my ag bonus back. I don't think Kansas would take away that bonus. Okay, defended one in Florida. He's still pressuring me in some states. Nice. We clashed in Minnesota. We held on to Mississippi. He did not finish off Ohio and Pennsylvania. Man. Okay. Turn 16, 1.11 million to just under a million for sleepy Joe Biden. Um, the only state he is in in the Old South is Arkansas, so I'm going to fill that up. I'm going to try to get Wisconsin back. He's been defending New York. And I'm, we're really thankful he's not in Illinois or Michigan because we'd have to defend some of those states. I'm going to preemptive put one in Georgia. That's 16 electorals just to discourage him from entering. I could just take Florida right now. Do I have the balls? Nope, no balls. Okay, so he's defending California. We do flip Delaware. It's three. Ah, here he comes in Illinois. In Kentucky, in Michigan. Okay. <laughs> so if you ask for it, you get it. But here's, we get the 50K bonus back in ag. Thanks to Wisconsin. Okay, turn 17. What do I do? Okay, I could flip. I, I feel like I have to make a flip here. If I just make one flip, that'll make it a toss-up going in the next round. I have a feeling he's going to block off Pennsylvania. I'm going to go one more. I probably should go one. I should probably go two in Minnesota. Okay, what do I do, Brendan? If I go, I have my African-American bonus that can be used in Florida, that can be used in Illinois and Michigan. I think I'm going to have to take a risk and leave one of those open. I'm going to leave Michigan open. I'm going to take Illinois. That should also take us to a ballot because there will be every state filled plus 100 electors. 
So, assuming I can flip a state, then I... Okay, so I'm going to try to flip Nebraska, which is a tiny state. I'm going to try to flip Ohio, because I don't think he will be using his bonuses in Ohio. And that'll still leave me 287 next turn. Oh boy. He did not spend any money. Okay. 17. Where is that? Nevada? Gosh. Okay. So we have the electoral college advantage. We are in a lot of his states, fortunately. But it all comes down to this. He needs to flip eight to win. Okay, so I can I have all these bonuses. I need to defend with my bonuses. The only thing he can really come at me is in Arkansas with the Old South bonus, so I better use that first. Looking at it, I also have the Ag bonus. He's in several Ag states. So, I mean, there's a lot of things to defend. Okay, so I'm going to defend Michigan and Indiana. I'm going to use Arkansas. Um... So I'm using my ag bonus to attack in Nebraska, or defend in Nebraska, excuse me. That's 309. I probably have to flip a state. I'm going to gonna wave the white flag on Minnesota. That's 10. So we are de facto, if we do that, we're behind by two. So I need to flip another state. I'm going to try to flip Massachusetts. And then I have 197. He is most likely to defend. He'll probably attack in Montana, honestly, just because it doesn't have a bonus, so neither of us have that. I have the ag bonus, so he may not attack me in some ag states. Or if he does, it may not be. He may just choose one ag state. So I do think that's going to be Minnesota. I'm going to just put one pip there because that will be enough to cover his town and gown bonus. Okay, if I attack New Jersey, that doesn't leave me a whole lot of cash. I can defend those states. Oh, okay, here we go. I don't feel great about leaving Kentucky open, but... Okay, nice clash. Whew. Okay, shoot, there's four. There's eight. Uh-oh. Nice. Okay, we need to flip Massachusetts. We need Massachusetts. Okay, yes. New Jersey, New Jersey, New Jersey, New Jersey. Montana. It's all coming down to New Jersey. Come on. Ah! Darn it. Good game, Mr. Nathan Williams. Knocking out Brendan and hashtag Team Brendan. Oh, well... Good luck with Jason Casey. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I will see you guys in the next 270 video. <laughs> Good game, man.